de la ciudad de la Perú de Tenchi, y le voy a pedir a Katy que nos dé unas palabras de bienvenida también y apertura a este primer panel eh, y posteriormente haremos otra encuesta más y de ahí pasaremos a las presentaciones de nuestros invitados. Eh, Katy, bienvenida, muchas gracias. Un aplauso para Katy. Buenos días, bienvenidos, bienvenidas a Guajama. Good morning. Um, welcome to the, I want to announce it as the inaugural in the Hope of Future Gatherings, a tri-national gathering of indigenous peoples and communities from across North America. I bring greetings on behalf of the traditional ecological knowledge expert group um, who have worked very hard to organize the events and the uh, work that we will hear today and that will provide a basis from which we can begin our important discussions. This gathering is the third part of a four-part traditional ecological knowledge-led initiative of the TEKDG, um, the three countries, um, the staff at CEC, our, our leader, uh, Jorge Daniel, have been um, strongly behind us in this work, and it's been a challenging time and a very meaningful one. There's a lot of expertise that we have gathered here, and we are thankful and excited to hear from Indigenous and non-Indigenous experts respecting water management. We are grateful for the spiritual leadership uh, that, we, that Amelia brought for us today to ensure we open our meeting in a good way. We open our hearts and our minds to hear one another and to learn from one another. I want to thank Jorge Daniel for his leadership and diligence to ensure a space for Indigenous voices at CBC. Marcella Rose for her un unwavering and long-standing commitment to the success of the traditional electrical knowledge expert group. Uh, Tim Gull, who's sick in his room at this moment, um, thank you for your hard work in pulling this amazing event together. This historic event, um, it's a very complex um, gathering and we're very grateful for his commitment and work. Um, we would not be here without the excellent team at CEC who have worked long hours and done incredible work to bring us all here into this room and to bring all of you online to be with us today. So thank you, Mariana, Liliana, and the wonderful our working team at CBC. I wish to acknowledge mostly the vision and the dedication of my colleagues on the traditional ecological knowledge expert group. We began in 2015 with a gathering of some 40 uh, people from across the three countries to talk about what is important in terms of cooperation between the three countries. What is important for us to remember as we approach our work? And um, we've had significant support from the countries at CEC since that time. Um, we, will, we are thankful that all of you have journeyed here from many places across North America to share with us your expertise and your wisdom, the challenges that you're facing, and your hopes for the future. You will strengthen all of us. What has become apparent to me um, over my years of working in the area of traditional ecological knowledge is that we must create spaces for indigenous peoples to speak to one another, for us to um, share and revitalize those old ways, those old relationships of knowledge sharing, historic cultural trade, the alliances, and learn from one another 
and learn to support one another. These are old traditions which we hope are triggered in some small way here in these days ahead. So uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. In introducing this very first panel, um, so we have uh, meetings with the Traditional Ecological Knowledge Expert Group. Henrietta Mann, who's not with us today, uh, played a significant part along with Sarah and, and the others to highlight uh, that Indigenous peoples need to bring the discussion of the order to the forefront. And um, what we have done as part of our four-part Indigenous-led study at CEC is we initiated a series of case studies in each country. And we're going to present those case studies to you here today. Uh, this will be the first time we'll have had, even as a collective, to see them all in one place at one time. And um, uh, the panel is going to be our first opportunity to hear about this important work. So without further ado, I'll turn it back to our um, able facilitator and uh, look forward to the presentations. Thank you so much.